shift when he's needed it. And we saw that last week in the Western Southern Open. He has so many different gears. Love that play there from Novak Djokovic. A lot sooner than he would like to in the rally. Right there, that shot. And then Edmund has to hit up. Clips the top of the tape. It's devastating combination, that kind of accuracy with that kind of power. Is a beautiful shot there. This is a fantastic shot. Great footwork gets in position. The ability to go inside in with pace, with spin. That is a beautiful shot from Djokovic. Yes. Yeah, it's made it just beautiful tennis. Yes. Successful for so long. And after being away for periods in 2017, dealing with the elbow issue, you know, you look at his game and you think. Oh, beautiful backhand there from Kyle Edmonds, set up by a yes. nice yes. kicking second serve that allowed Djokovic to not get as much on the return. Behind him nicely here, stepped up into the court. Beautiful shoulder rotation. Yeah, I think probably two shots. Full credit to Kyle Edmund there. I mean, an excellent serve, 122 miles an hour in the yes, corner. Sir. Finally gets it done. Well played. And of course, it was another master, another the first at Masters level, wasn't it, Mark? A couple of days, two, three days ago. It's good movement, drop shot, not really good enough. Saw it coming. An opportunity of his own now. Yes. As I mentioned, I think that's one area where Novak Djokovic has really improved when you put all the factors together. He is the greatest returner of all time. Really good tennis from both men, but impressive from Edmonds just to keep his head in that that sort of exchange. He hasn't really had it very straightforward. Nice 
nice shot there. Kyle Edmonds made his residence in the Bahamas. He does a lot of his training on that as well, so I see him a lot. He's a very hard worker. He brings his entire team there. He spent a lot of time there right when the suspension happened after Indian Wells. And then once he realized it was going to be a long break. Novak Djokovic guesses right right here thinks that Kyle's going to go up the line and he's there. <laughs> he was there almost before Kyle. Extraordinary shot. Don't associate that kind of feel and artistry from Kyle Edmund. The slide. Thirty left. You know, so if you're Carl, you, you hear a little muttering in the back there. That's Novak Djokovic muttering to his team. Oh, another brilliant backhand up the line. Goodness me. Players box. And this is what we said. We said Kyle Edmund would have to play some of his best tennis. And I've, I got to say so far. You know, obviously he's probably played better at some point, but he's playing at a very high level. He's bringing it early here. Want to watch down in the bottom half of the draw this week, I think. Some explosive hitting going on right now from both of these men. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a beautiful volley there. That's a part of the game that Kyle Edmund has worked very hard on. Mr. Djokovic is challenging the call on the left center service line. Yeah, right a couple of days ago. It's the first time since 1974 that uh, there have been four British players into the second round of the US Open. That's how significant it is to get the, the quartet through. Continues. Again, Djokovic. Again, hold of serve. Six minutes on first set. Minimum of fuss. Oh, yes. What a forehand. A missile. With the mini break though, 2 1. It's been a good start from Edmund. Oh, another massive forehand. Three. Talking about the size of Kyle Edmund's forehand. How impressed he was that day he came up against the British player on the clay. Oh, no. 
No, that was not the time for that shot. Three, two, Edmund. That's too good. Nice feel. And there was a lot of moisture on the baseline, which clearly was coming from the shoes of Kyle Edmund, because we saw Kyle Edmund actually change his shoes during that little changeover. Just an idea of how hard Kyle Edmund is having to work out here. Even his shoes are sweating. <laughs> <laughs> the efforts of yesterday. Oh, I just wonder whether he left that, didn't he? He left it. He had a play on it. Drop shot again. Edmund got up to it in time, and let's have a look here. Oh, he clearly would have had a play if he just would have moved. He felt it was going long. If he would have just moved to the side here and moved forward at an angle. Set points for Edmund. And he in, seals uh, it in Edmund. style. What a set of tennis from Kyle Edmonds. And he's the first person this season to win a breakup against the world number one. 7 6. Chance going into that. Very impressive from yeah, Kyle Edmonds. Kantan Mute, the French for the second round. 15, that often makes a difference. You know, you see Andy up in his suite watching Kylie forever, watching Kyle as well. Tight knit unit at the Press moment. The British yeah, players, a lot of uh, a lot of doubles players doing well from Britain as well. Mark, some exhibition tennis. If I can organise this and get things moving. Really great job, I thought. Held at the National Tennis Centre in Roehampton, so that's uh, if you're familiar with. Ten minute drive from Wimbledon where they play the Wimby Qualies of the individual event. Dan Evans won it. But I think what the one thing that shone through for me was that there's great camaraderie among, among British tennis now. There's a lot of players. Having been a player before, when you can be around one of the all time greats, that gives you confidence right there. And then to see the way that they go about it, how professional they are, how they train, that would be unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't put it past Novak Djokovic. Even his misses are brilliant. And to have the logo facing the right way as well. And Pablo Corona Booster, our doubles champions last week. Didn't see that one coming, Mark. No, I didn't see that one coming either, but full credit. They beat a good lineup of teams. Alex Demon, or I watched him play a little bit in those doubles matches. He was absolutely on fire. Dominic Inglot. Again, Djokovic. Djokovic leads five. Most of these players have been off for an extended period of time with the pandemic. 2018. 14, Hats, three or four usually. No way. <laughs> oh, did we say something about shifting gear? I'm not sure what gear this is, but there are not too many people that have this gear right here. Wow. <laughs> Some backhand up the line. Great court coverage. As was a terrific get from Kyle Edmund. Scrambled on that one, and Djokovic absolutely unloaded on that backhand, but Edmund guessed right and put it in overdrive. Still with what to do here. 15 30. Looking to serve out this second set. Mr. 
against uh, Edmund, challenging the crawl on the right side the service line, the ball was called in. Yeah, Novak seems pretty confident that Chris hit the spot. Again. Yeah, yeah must have felt pretty good off the strings. Djokovic. It is an ace, it's nine to the match. Once it and he does level, takes the second set. 6 3. It's good tennis there from Kyle Edmund, but that camera angle gives you an illustration of how hard it is to win a point against Novak Djokovic. You know, all great champions change the game in certain ways, and I think that's where he's had the biggest impact. With Nadal missing. To let off. Yes. Back in Britain. Oh. Oh, there is the break of serve. A couple of occasions screamed at his team court side. Fortunate. It was a nice volley. It, you know, that's the biggest danger for Novak against some opponents is if he gets bored, right? <laughs> and essentially, he sometimes if he's not getting resistance as he is here against Kyle Edmund, he can get bored. Absorb until you fall down, essentially. Inch perfect. The return. Three chances to get the double break. Again, yeah. Converts the first. And this third set looking pretty good now. This one saved. Some say that's been an unwelcome 15, distraction. 15. Do you buy into that or is no? I wouldn't have thought that this would have been the best time to launch that type of distraction. But I also didn't win 17 majors in singles, so. <laughs> and maybe that's why. <laughs> 50 50 partnership between the tournaments and the players. We know there's been a strong push from the players towards the Grand Slams. Uh, it still can be improved. I, I think the the ATP management was a little bit surprised. Obviously, there have been tremendous challenges this year. With you know, we, we started out in Australia with the fires with COVID-19. And then obviously we had a lot of social injustice as well with the BLM movement. There's been a lot of moving targets. And all I can say is I, I know me for one, very thankful to see our sport back impacted as maybe the top guys as himself that make a little bit more money. Or I should say a lot more money.
relatively constructed point and really nice job there from Novak stepped into the court the chance for Edmund another loose service game from the world number one Let's get the hold. Novak Djokovic, can he finish the job this time? Oh, such a good combination. Going back behind Edmund. Two handed backhand with you get pushed back behind the baseline. So the nice variety there with the drop shot. That's a big serve for Novak Djokovic 121 miles an hour out wide. That's a nice combination back to back aces. Novak Djokovic firmly back on Djokovic. track inside Arthur Ashe Stadium he drops the opening set because they know the lower rank guys know how hard it is to play at that level for so long No question that Kyle's level has dipped off a little since the opening set. Secured the first set against the world number one, he might feel, hey, I'm a little closer to the finish line. Let me just push myself. But it's a whole nother ball game when it takes you 70 minutes to win the first set and you still have to win two more. I remember speaking to Nick Kyrgios about it, I think, two years ago here. There's more evidence exactly why Djokovic with early break point chances. Oh, that's a great point. Yeah, good play here from Edmund. Moves forward here. Soft touch on the forehand volley. Out in front and then just softens the racket. Stats up of the net. Saves the second break point. Same when you're playing Federer, same against Nadal. That is a thing of beauty, that back end of the line from Djokovic. I mean, you just can't expect this, right? Because you feel like Edmund has the control of the rally with his back end, but then he doesn't. Serve the last couple of service games is able to serve it out at 5 4, but let some double break leads slip in that third set with some loose games. Okay, he's going to go up double break three love, but Kyle Edmund just clung on to that service game. Points. Accuracy. Another surgery, just reading the last few days. I wish him well. Beat Nadal in the 2011 final. That's his first title here. Sometimes easy, isn't it, to forget how many finals these guys have made as well, because you tend to look at the titles. 2007. 2010. Five times. Yeah. He's lost in the finals, I believe. Oh, 
Come on, Novak. Come on. Oh, he continues to amaze. I mean, that is just incredible, really. <laughs> <laughs> Still celebrating. The kind of point that deserves almost 24,000 fans, doesn't it? Imagine yeah, this yeah, place. Yeah. That's, that's, like the, that. that's the key thing. Oh, it's turning on the style now. Love, love, pity. Just wide. The top seed starting to assert his authority now. Once you get to that three hour mark. I mean, I would say that Kyle Edmund played some of his best tennis for the first build on the ranking 44 in this week's list. reactions it's nice serve there from Edmund doing his part trying to make sure he holds serve here serving for place in the round of 32. Statement challenging the call on the right center service line. Ball was called in. Despite dropping, dropping the opening set, it's now 25 played, 25 won.